What in the world? What in the world? I'm, woo. This pack, this trailer is everything I've ever wanted. I saw Agnes, I saw bunnies, I saw bunnies with sweaters, I saw multicolored cows. I, oh my gosh, this trailer is gonna be, oh. This expansion pack is gonna be the best out of all of them we've ever gotten. I am so excited. This is gonna be the best. Oh my gosh. to my channel today and we are doing a brand new sims 4 video and so today we're gonna be looking at the brand new expansion pack trailer for the sims 4 because if you all didn't notice a couple days ago i got a postcard in the mail hinting at what could be the new expansion pack there was crunkle bottom there was countryside living there was like bunnies and birds and whatnot and it was hemford on badgley and i honestly believe that it could be really just farming, but it could be more. But personally, I need farming in my game. But I also need Agnes Crunkabottom to hit my sins repeatedly and physically abuse them. That's all I really want in life and that's all I really need. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop into this trailer. What? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the world? What in the world? I'm woo. This pack, this trailer is everything I've ever wanted. I saw Agnes, I saw bunnies, I saw bunnies with sweaters, I saw multicolored cows. I, oh my gosh, this trailer is gonna be oh. This expansion pack is gonna be the best out of all of them we've ever gotten. I am so excited. This is gonna be the best. Oh my gosh. I literally cannot believe Agnes Crunkabottom is back hitting our Sims repeatedly and physically abusing them, but also country living. Oh my gosh. There's so much. There's way too much in this pack. It's two minutes long. I have so much to uncover and it's just gonna be so great. Anyway, we're gonna go frame by frame and check all the stuff out because I'm just like, I need to see everything because honestly, this is way too much. I have so much. So anyway, the first frame that I can see here, it's basically all basing for the trees and whatnot. But this tree right here, that's new. So that might be in debug. This dress looks great. The shoes look great. The hair looks great. Like from this first frame, I literally thought it could be like fairies or whatever, but no, it is not. Those are birds. Those are little tiny birds. Oh, we got new earrings. <gasps> the countryside of Windenburg. Ooh, or Brychester. 
I don't know, but this looks so cool. I like this. Oh, this is, this is so nice. You got new hair, got new dress, new earrings. Oh, a new bracelet. Oh, that's nice. We can interact with the birds and they can poop on our Sims. Oh, a new tree back here. Nice. But this, this is what sold me the most. This bunny, this bunny. I am literally not kidding, but this looks so cool. Like the scenery, Co wait, cottage living, cottage core, cottage core. And if you don't know, I love Animal Crossing so much and I've always wanted a cottage core like island theme, but now I can do it in The Sims. Oh, oh. I wonder what the world's called. It might just be Henford on Badgley, might be, I don't know. Probably Henford, probably, but cottage living. This is so freaking cool. Oh, wait, hold up. New roof type. Hold up. New roof type in the background. What? I'm speechless. I'm literally speechless at this point. But there's a little chicken as an icon. Oh, wait, this kind of reminds me of something else I've seen before. But everything looks so like, like I was correct. I was literally spot on. Like Windenburg meets Brychester meets um, Brindle and Bay a little bit, all mixed into one. It has everything I've ever wanted. And this is literally my dream. Oh, I got to build a cottage core theme house. It's going to be cottage core week for five years. We already saw what we have from the first, you know, sim we saw, but we have a new little full body outfit here, new shoes, new shoes, overall, all thing. I'm going to assume this is an all in one outfit for the male sims, new shoes, new shoes, new full body outfit, hair and hair. Okay. Oh, hold up. Go back, <laughs> go back. New debug building with some plants attached to it, most likely. Probably a new debug plant tree over here. Mm, I feel like there's a bench. This might be a bench or like a fence. Bench or a fence. Either one, new thing here, new stairs and debug. I see a lot of stuff being added to debug from this pack. I just realized city living, um, island living, cottage living, tiny living. <gasps> for getting the living life that we deserve. Oh, this is great. Anyway, but we see a lot of different bunnies here. We have one, two, three, and four different bunnies. And I'm assuming you can buy accessories for them in like a catalog or a pop-up, whatever, when you adopt them. Um, or separate, I'm not sure. But yeah, four different types of bunnies we can see here. A little object here, tree here. Yep, definitely. I was correct. I was correct. New roof type. And this is an all-in-one thing. I'm going to assume it's all in one. I wonder if we're going to get our, get new recipes. Ooh, that's a good idea. New recipes will be very cool to have. But birds and rabbits can like interact with it and everything. That's so cool. Ooh, bunny, chicken, fox. Oh, little roof decors and a new chimney. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, and we can swim in this like part of the town as well. I wonder what the town's going to be called. Still, I think, you know, from the postcard, but everything looks so serene and like nice and comforting. Oh, wow. New hair, new hair, new hair, and new hair. Very far in the background. Cannot see it, but it looks new to me. This is insane. New wishing well. Oh, a new top, pants, shoes, full body, top, skirt, Boot, hair, hair, hair. Yes? Question mark? Whatever that red thing over here, that's new. Wait, that right here, this right here, that is a new shirt. But a little across the way, we see good old Agnes Crumkabata making a return. Ooh la la. Abusing our Sims the way we deserve. Or what we deserve, actually. But we got she got the pearls, she got the she got the earrings, she got the little side tilt hat, she got the nice iconic dress and the red lipstick. It's like flirtation in my area. Oh no, 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 sir. Boom, boom, boom. Hits your Sims across the face. Oh, what we deserve. What we deserve. I've never been this excited in my entire life. This is just the best thing, best, one of the best. Oh, that looks new over here in this area. You can't see it, but that looks so cool. Oh, wait, is that a new fence from Debug? Maybe. I'm a Debug person. I love Debug religiously. It's, a, it's, a, it's an addiction, trust me. Addiction for Debug. Wait a minute. This is too much. This is too much to handle. Oh my gosh. Separate objects for our cows, llamas, chickens, whatnots to go into their own little humble abode. Wait, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Are we getting a pond tool? We're getting a freaking pond tool.
Okay, this is so nice. I can't, I'm just in awe with this stuff too. And this looks so real, oh, oh, a new arch, a new arch. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So it looks like the child is calling their pet bunny to like come back to them. So I'm assuming that we can have new pets. Yes, we can adopt them. Oh, a new awning over here, like railing thing. We can interact with them. We can get pet bunnies. Oh, a new flower box, I was right. This looks so cute, oh. I was like, is that Sim Guru Ninja in the background? Maybe. Um, but new little vest, pants, hairstyle. This looks new. Yeah, a little mushroom. So we got a new shirt, maybe pants, maybe full body outfit, maybe so. New shoes, new boots. Oh, more yellow. Very good. Thank you, Sims team. I appreciate the more yellow. Thank you. I really do. Um, but yeah, new full body outfit, new hairstyle with like a little bandana, new toddler outfits that might become with a backpack attached to it. I don't know, but this looks so cute. Ooh, new overalls, new shoes. Oh, new hair, 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 hair. Five. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, a new gate. I wonder if we can alt place gates now. Wishful thinking here. I don't know. This looks so amazing. Okay. He's thinking, he's thinking. Okay. He's like, yeah, I can make some pumpkins. I want to grow some. So we can grow pumpkins. We got our own little, little cottagey core farming area. We got mushrooms. We got pumpkins. We got carrots, new watermelon. Ah, oh, new fence, new bench, new end table. Okay, but this is like, this is like an overhaul to gardening to me and it's so perfect. We have llamas, alpacas, both. I'm going to say they're llamas. I'm going to say they're llamas to me because llamas spit. Alpacas probably do too. Okay, we can shave the llama. The llama's like, no, 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 I don't think so. Uh-uh, who do you think you are trying to shave me? <clears throat> that llama's like, get away from me. They can bite you. Take away the shaving thing and throw it away. That is so cool. I wonder if we get like rabies from that. New death? <laughs> New death maybe? Hmm, possibly maybe, maybe? Oh, okay. So, oh wait, a little little rooster wearing a little pride sweater. And then the Mr. Chicken. Wait, can we? Can we like crochet? Can we crochet? <laughs> can we crochet? Oh, that's so cool. Oh wait, little bunny statue. So a new bookcase and some new decor, wallpaper, end table, side table thing, that new stuff. I think we can start crocheting now in The Sims 4. So crocheting could be a new little activity. Maybe sell them flops, see if you have nifty knitting. Okay, new painting, little accessory stuff, bookshelf, box for crocheting stuff. So knitting and crocheting, a new chair. Oh, I like how the kids are getting more like activities for them to do because I feel like with the kids, they don't get enough stuff for like activity wise. So now we have knitting for the kids and now we can do crocheting for the kids. That is so cool. A new clock maybe, whatever this thing's over here. A new basket, a new rug, that's base game flooring, a new fireplace. Oh, wait, that's a cool animation. We reach inside and we kind of grab it out. Oh, and it hatches into a little chicken. Oh, I wonder. Okay, here's my idea. If we leave the eggs in there long enough, they could hatch into like chicks. But if we get them early on, when they start laying them, we can just keep them for whatever we want and sell them. But long enough, they hatch. Okay, we can milk the cows. Very good. Can we make milkshakes? Chocolate milkshakes? I don't know. Maybe. Making cheese, our little own little dairy farm. Oh, little Bessie the cow. Oh, you know what I would love? Pigs, because I honestly believe someone could recreate Charlotte's Web in The Sims 4 with this pack, if there were pigs. Oh, wait a minute, jam jars? Oh, oranges, cherries, pears. Oh, ooh, new kitchen related stuff. Oh, oh, a new sink, a new fridge, a new stove, picnic basket, new island counters, regular counters, pots and pans, new awnings, new window, wallpaper. Oh, this is so good. New flooring, wait a minute. This flooring looks brand spanking new. Thank you very much. We have new flooring. Oh, and our kids can cook too. Thank you. Just thank you. Our kids can cook, but they can also mess up on their cooking. What if the kids get a new skill, like a cooking skill or like a, or whatever, like learning the, like the ropes of cooking early on as children, like living on a farm? That could happen. That could happen. That could happen for sure. Yeah. Okay. This could bring some new ideas. Picnic basket. 
High chair? No, base game high chair. Base game high chair. Don't get my hopes up. But we got new pie. Whatever that dish is, that looks new. Whatever she's eating, that's new too. Oh. Yeah, that's a base game high chair. But that looks so cool. Oh, poultry sign. And also a farmer's market. Oh. This world looks so beyond. Just like so good. A little farmer's market stand. That's so nice. Yeah. Oh, and the wheel's moving. Oh, I wonder if it's in debug and it and also spins too. Oh, that hair. This hair right here. Hello? That hair. That hair is so good. We got a new hat, new beards for our male sims, finally. Male sims get more than five items. Okay. New windows, new shirts. Oh, maybe new drinks, maybe. Some new dishes. Okay, new sign for the gnomes. Wallpaper, probably, for stone wallpaper. I wonder if this is like a, a new, like, lot type we could be getting, maybe? Or it might still work as a bar. Or our sims, like, we can make it as a bar, and our sims can work at the bar. Like, it, like it functions as, like, a restaurant. That's what I'm thinking. Functions as a restaurant, but it's a different lot type restaurant because we because we got like restaurants from dine out but then like my also thought is that it could be where we get something new like a lounge bar pub a pub maybe i don't know this gives me some new ideas to think about because either the sim works there or just it's just there but a new farmer's market stand oh and these buildings must be like rabbit holes where your sims can walk into it and then like wait grocery shopping Grocery shopping, grocery shopping, grocery shopping. Is it coming back? Can our Sims go grocery shopping? Because by this little icon, it gives me grocery shopping vibes. And your Sim wouldn't normally look at, out at the window, looking at the produce and not think of grocery shopping. So grocery shopping could be back. Ideas, thank you. I think this could be true. This could be grocery shopping could make, we could make in a return. And we also have a little new like event thing, gro like farmer's market. That is so cool. Oh, a little new flower boxes. Wait, are we getting new contest types? <gasps> Ooh, this gives me like a Sims 3 vibes and or no, like I guess Sims 2. Sims 2 free time vibes because Sims 2 free time, you could do like baking contests, cooking contests, and like some other type of contests, like, you know, judges and stuff. So this gives me ideas. Okay, new flower boxes. Oh, yep, the judges here, Miss Nancy Drew herself over here is like, Hey, that's that. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. this sim right here. I know that sim. I know that sim specifically because Lumia Sims has a sim exactly like that. And it's base game. If you go to their Tumblr, their website, that sim is on there. They made this trailer. They are the cinematic artist for The Sims 4 officially. Oh, a little rooster. Oh, so apparently we can be attacked by chickens and roosters. Can we die from this? Can we die from being attacked by um, roosters? The bunny just watches us being attacked. That is horrifying. And we're trying to like crawl away from our death. That is so funny. So this gives me like walk, like looking in from a, a bunny's point of view of what could be a thing. Oh, uh, but they have their own little hideaway over here. That's so, so cool. This area is like beyond, like it gives me Windenburg vibes. I wonder how big the world is and how many lots we're getting because this is gigantic. Yeah, this pack is insane. Like literally insane. This pack has so much to offer. I did not expect this to happen, but it actually happened. So honestly, I am very, very, very excited about this because I've always wanted farming. I've always wanted more things to do for our kids. I've always wanted Agnes Crunklebottom in the back to, you know, abuse our Sims again. So this brings me the utter most joy right now. I am just so pleased right now. But so I did receive some assets from The Sims and I was very excited about that because new things we can look in more detail, of course. So we got some roosters here. Okay, some cows. Oh, wait, that's so adorable. That is so cute. I love that. I love the detail of like this outfit here. So yeah, definitely a new shirt, new pants. Looks like base game shoes to me. Oh, that is so adorable. I like all this stuff. I wonder if the the bandana comes in multiple colors. Like, can we change it out in accessories or is it just part of the hair? I don't know. Oh, oh, this looks so nice and realistic. I mean, the renders, of course, but still, 
This is just wow. Our, it looks like, yeah, we're definitely getting a new roof type. It looks like we can make our own pond. Um, hello. It literally looks like we have our brand new building like tool. Like we have our found like our terrain terrain tool, but now we have a pond tool. Not the one you can like make your own little square stuff pond, but an actual pond tool to make our un like unnatural, natural looking ponds we want and we've always wanted. So this could mean a lot of things. And our Sims could swim in it too. Sign me up. So this looks really, really good. I am very, very pleased about this. So yeah, new fences, some new like, you know, barn stuff, new roof type, new roof decor, new chimney. Yeah, new windows, of course. Here, here, new door, new window here. That's a new window right there, so four, I see. Oh, little chicken thing over here. Oh, picnic baskets. I wonder. That's a new hairstyle right here. So new hairstyle, new hairstyle, new hoop earrings, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but this looks so cool. New bunny. One, two. Bunnies can dig in the ground, too. That must be a new terrain paint here. That's new. I wonder. That looks so cool. I'm really, I'm blown away. Literally blown away by all this. Like, hello? Like, we can milk our cows. We can give them new things. Our llamas or alpacas, we can be attacked by roosters, apparently. Hopefully we don't die from them. So it looks like, we, yeah, we can definitely give our animals outfits, which is perfect. Um, new outfit here for the toddlers. Then we got a new overall outfit for the kids. This is just like straight up barn life in The Sims. Straight up barn life. Like, that's a new hairstyle for toddlers. Um, hello, thank you very much. I love all this. That's a, that's a cool door. Ooh, new railings. So big old pumpkins, new chairs. Oh, eggplant jam, sausages, some whatever that is. Some new stuff, some new recipes that we could be making from our own, like, you know, this new pack. So I guess whatever we grow, we have new recipes to go along with it. Like eggplants, eggplant delight, eggplant whatever, eggplant jam. This could, be, could mean a lot of things. So yeah, pumpkins, eggplant, mushrooms grapes uh, like all these different things we could do oh that's so cool yeah we, the kids get a new hairstyle i love this hair so i'm so excited he looks scary i'm horrified um but look at all this country living stuff country living cottage living oh i love this hairstyle we can crochet we got little outfits for our toddlers new bar stools new sweaters oh all of this looks so good. I would love to see all these Sims in the gallery, please and thank you. I'm just like, hello, thank you very much. Yeah, this is like, this is crazy. Like this is literally insane. That's a new floor type. We're getting new flooring, new flooring all the way. I am just beyond excited about this pack. I have so many thoughts, so many opinions, so many like builds and stuff I want to do. Like I have, this is like my dream. Like comparing to like dream home decorator and this pack, these two are my literal dream packs. I can become, or I can become farmer spring. I literally can become farmer spring in the Sims. Oh, this is just great. This is wonderful. I'm very excited about this. Okay, so I found it. I found the official date on when the pack releases. So it's available on July 22nd. So that's literally next month. We have a whole month to prepare to, like, to calm ourselves, figure out what we want to do, what we want to build, what we want to play. So there's a lot of ideas. So available July 22nd. So I'm going to read you the key features about this pack because apparently there's way more than I thought because two minutes is way too short for me and doing frame by frame is way too long and also way too short for me to process everything that just happened. But the short description reads, Delight and a quaint charm of the Sins 4 Cottage Living Expansion Pack was animal friends, garden table meals, and close niche community. Hmm. Long description. Delight and a quaint charm of the Sims for country living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At home, cook with the family using the freshest ingredients. Explore the forest to befriend woodland creatures or forage for food. Or head to the town to meet locals. Whether Sims are hugging a cow, making friends, or enemies. 
with their chickens or growing the biggest vegetables around the countryside is abundant with seeing new experiences in ways and ways to connect with the world around them i wonder how big the world's going to be and how many lots we're going to get because personally i think the more we get the better you know we have it to explore Ooh, the key features raise and befriend animals the cottage cow provides fresh flavored milk for everyone while chickens lay eggs in the coop gather llama wool oh for craft so we can craft new things and put on our animals <gasps> Ooh, but beware of mischief foxes and pesky critters love eggs wait in the forest keep an eye out for woodland rabbits and birds to earn their trust for occasional gifts and help in the garden we live off the land making a Wait, make a cooking and gardening fun for the whole family. New recipes and lot challenges require fresh ingredients for each meal. Ooh, I wonder what the lot challenges will be and what recipes we'll get. Whether, whether Sims grow their own produce, visit the village market or forage in the wild, fresh is the best. Uh, for the challenge, try growing oversized crops to enter into the competition in the Finch Winch Fair. Ooh. Embrace the village life. Hemford on Badgley is a, is a cozy village where everyone knows everyone. That can be a good thing and a bad thing at the same time because when everybody knows everybody, there's drama bound to happen. Because if Shirley sleeps with Jeffrey or Nancy and the whole town knows, it's an uproar and we don't have time for that. At least I don't in real life. In The Sims, I do. Let the drama begin. Um, so pack a picnic basket and cross stitch hoop and head down to the gnome's arm pub to kick back with the locals after a long day earn unique gifts and learn about the town's lore from neighbors or participate in the finch witch fair to show off your most prized cow or chicken <gasps> Ooh, it's like charlotte's web all over again but with chickens and cows but there's more information i just found in the blog post okay so breathe in the fresh cottage side air with the new expansion pack this one is a whole llama fun, like a whole lot of a whole llama fun. <laughs> um, we're over the moon because it's finally time to reveal the Cod's Living Extension Pack. You're, wait, you're in for an utterly delightful experience in the small countryside town of Hemford on Badgley, where animals and gardening are all the rage. And the best news, the golden egg hatches on July 22nd. Ooh, legendary. <laughs> Details of that ahead. Ooh, a quiet village. Okay, we have a quiet village. There's way more than the provincial life than you might expect. It's a small town, but the Sims who live here have plenty to, to flap their lips about. Ooh, drama? Drama. <laughs> have a Hemford heart-to-heart -heart with the pub owners uh, at the Gnome's Arms or the Sim running the grocery stall. Groceries? For some wild stories and gossip. If you're feeling brave, you might even approach Crunkle Bottom's garden booth for some advice. Just remember Agatha, Agnes and Agatha. Oh, so Agnes and Agatha. Hmm, Agatha is the friendly one. Agnes is the grumpy one. But both love crumpets. Oh, so Agatha is like the alter ego of Agnes. One's good, one's bad. Okay, 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 I see, I see. A and A, Crunkabon, nice. Okay, sometimes the locals need a bit of help too. If you're up to it, running a few errands for them might yield some interesting presents. So maybe a new career most likely? Hmm. Every week in the Finch Winch Fair blows through the village, approaching, we're, we're attracting all sorts of Sims. The mayor judges, wait, the mayor judges the rotating competition entries from pies to vegetables to chickens and the rest of the villages love to join in. Ooh, do I have a cow? Yes, that's right. Cows, llamas, chickens, bunnies, and foxes all live aside alongside Sims in the idyllic new world befriend wild rabbits foxes and birds for gifts or the help in the farm or garden or focus on your your love and attention on the friends in the animal shed and chicken coops at home or both the more animals the better wait sims have the animal enthusiast trait okay so there's a new trait it's like you know the sims 3 horse enthusiast you know trait and aspiration uh, especially love taking care of critters your relationship with each animal impacts how they respond to you and treats can help you gain their f their their favor different animals treat and moods even produce different results wait change the flavor of your cow's milk the color of the llama's wool or even a appearance of your chickens with spe with specific goodies you'll need to find some wait choco berries out in the wild or add them to your grocery delivery order to get chocolate milk oh that's so cool wait plant some roots and some vegetables obviously wait thanks to the new gardening patches folks 
are overexcited for oversized crops. Fill plots with giant watermelons, um, upper gurns, upper gurns, pumpkins, mushrooms, and lettuce to really wow the neighbors. Get the kids out, wait, out there with you and teach them how to care for huge plants too. So maybe kids can get gardening skills as well. Oh, wait, when they're full grown, veggies, not the kids, enter them into the Finchwinch Fair or collect them for good harvest for healthy meals. The Simple Living Lot Challenge makes cooking cheaper. That's good. That's good. But also means recipes depend entirely on what you've got in your inventory. Forage in the near nearby woods for mushrooms and berries. Borrow some milk and eggs from your animals and keep your garden full. Missing something. Place an order with the local grocery shop and get, get all your ingredients delivered right to your doorstep. Don't forget to tip the delivery person. Oh, Sims 2. Bring them back the Sims 2 vibes of grocery shopping. Oh, perfect. Speaking of cooking, bring the whole family together in the kitchen and make some Yorkshire pudding, beef wellington, or or any or any of the other delicious dishes on the menu. It really does make the kitchen the heart of the home. Oh, that's so adorable. So the kids can cook too. I wonder what skill that kind of goes off into. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, if this isn't music to your <laughs> music, if, if if this is all not music to your ears, that's great news. Even better, if you purchase the pack by September second, you'll get the bonus gnome to go digital collect with content. Oh, wait! Ride around the centric community bicycle, decorate your garden with the onward adventurous garden. Wait, adventurous gnome sculpture, and brighten your yard with the beautiful wood, delightful tree. Oh, don't don't hit the hay just yet either. Some of Sims will have a few rabbits to pull out of the hat before cottage. Wait, cottage living arrives, so milk it with all it's worth. Mm, what does the Sims mean? What else do they have up their sleeve? Oh my gosh. But to be honest though, I am so excited about this pack. You have no idea. After like Dream Home Decorator and now this pack alone, I am beyond so excited about this. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I can't wait to be Farmer Spring, the full on farm, farmer life, like the provincial life, Beauty and the Beast vibes, like Pride and Prejudice. Like this is way too much. I cannot comprehend on how much this means to me. So, but either way, I'm going to leave this video off right here. I do hope you all enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comments below of what your thoughts are. Will you like it? Will you not like it? Will you get it? Wait until a sale or when to, you know, see more videos about it. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions. And that being said, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.